Hello and welcome to virtualtraining.us. My name is Devan Gandhi. Today I'm going to show you how to configure a Cisco switch. In this lesson I will try to accomplish four things. Assign a host name, assign an IP address to the switch, configure the console and VTY line so you can access the switch remotely via Telnet and SSH, and configure the ports. So let's go and get started. In this lesson I'm using the Cisco Packet Tracer to demo uh, switch configuration. You can apply the same commands to a real switch and they will ex work exactly the same. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add the uh, Cisco 2960 switch to the whiteboard. Uh, let's go and add the PC as well so we can test out the communication. And let's connect them via straight through cable. Okay, let's open up a command line, double click on Cisco uh, switch and go to command line interface. Type in EN and type in config T and if you can partially type host and hit tab it'll go and fill in the name for you and we're going to call this uh, demo switch 01 and as soon as I'll hit enter you'll see the, the the name of the switch will change from a switch to demo switch 01. Now the host name to the switch is just locally significant. What does that mean? Basically means that it has no bearing on how yeah, the switch actually interacts in your network. This is basically just locally, locally significant so you can identify the switch when you log into it. That's, that's all that is. So let's go ahead and uh, configure the uh, console and VTY line. So let's type in uh, line console 0. First thing we, know we need to do is type in the password. So I'm going to call that Cisco123 and enter. Type in login. And a couple, couple more commands I like to add to the my console and VTY lines are one, exact timeout. And what that does is basically if you're idle and not doing anything on the switch for five minutes, it'll basically log you off. So I set my exact timeout to five minutes. And the other thing I like to do is command call logging synchronize. And what that does is basically when you type something in and uh, how sometimes the system will interrupt you with those logging messages. So logging synchronized will suppress those messages until you're idle and then it'll start popping up. So that's what it's going to do. So let's go ahead and configure the uh, line VTY which is so you can tell that into it. Same exact command. Password is going to be Cisco123. Login. Uh, exact timeout 5 minutes and logging synchronize. So, so far we've accomplished uh, two things. One is to assign a host name and second uh, configure the console and VTY line so we can uh, tell that remote into it uh, to the switch. So the next thing what we're going to do is assign IP address to the switch so we can go ahead and ping and tell that into the switch. So we're going to type in interface VLAN 1 and IP address is going to be 192.168.1.1 and then you have to type in the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and we're going to do no shut so as you can see the uh, interface is up and let's go ahead and exit out of there Now let's go ahead and configure the ports and what we're going to do is type in interface range FA01 through 24 and type in uh, switch port access VLAN 1 which is by the default I mean the switch all those ports are part of by default part of the VLAN 1 and then we're going to type in switch po port mode access and do no shutdown. 
for the best practice you want to keep your management VLAN and your data VLAN separately but that's going to be a part of the next uh, next video so let's go ahead and type in the command show run and let's just look at the uh, config so far So I think uh, everything looks good. So we should be able to now ping the switch as well as the telnet into it. So let's go to the computer. Let's close this out. And let's go to the desktop. Let's go into the IP configuration and assign an IP address to 192.168.1. Let's do 10. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0, so that's correct. Let's close that out and open up a command prompt. Let's go ahead and see if you can ping the switch real quick. So type in ping 192.168.1.1. And as you can see, now we get a response from the switch. So let's see if we can telnet into the switch. Uh, telnet 192.168.1.1. The so first thing it says, uh, user access verification, enter the password. So we're going to type in Cisco123. Uh, go to enable mode and type in no password set. Oh yeah, I uh, forgot to set the password, enable password. So let's go back to the switch real quick. And let's do the config t enable secret is Cisco 123. Enter. And let's go back into the uh, PC and type in very good Cisco one two three. There we go. If you do show run, here's the configuration we just put in. And we should be able to ping the computer from here. There you go. Success rate hundred percent. So this concludes today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you like my video, hit subscribe on the, on the bottom of the link. And thank you for watching and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.